In this video, we're going to now focus on creating routine records. Uh, just as we had created the category records, we're going to use the same concept. But before that, there's a small change that we're going to do on the routine collection. If you recall, we set our data type for our start time to date time. So we're going to change that because we actually decided to format our date time in a more in a string format uh, in a way that we would want it to be presented in the app. So change the date time to string. And after that, you'll experience some few errors. Do not, because the routine.dat and the routine.gdat will be conflicting. So don't change this code, don't touch it. All you have to do is just go to the terminal. Sorry. Oh. Just go to the terminal and run the command flutter pub run build runner build. That's the command that will generate for you and clear all the errors. It will regenerate the routine uh, that uh, generated file and build for you and clear the errors. So do not change the routine.g.dat manually. The build runner will do that for you. So I already did that. Um, so you should be able to update that so that you can be able to have, you don't, so that you end up not having any issues in whatever we're going to do next. So now we're going to create a function that will create uh, routines or that will allow us to add a routine. So let's call add routine. And if we go back to our screen here, the add routine will be invoked when you click on the add button over here. So let's pass it on the on pressed function. So it's somewhere here. We didn't add any functionality. So let's add that add routine. And then now we can focus on the function itself down below. So first things first, we need to import the routine collection, that file. Great. So now we can use it here. We are start by saying final routine collection is equals to widget.esa.routines. The next thing we're going to create a dat object, a routine dat object. So if you remember in our class, our routine collection has one, two, three, four, five, five properties, but there's only there's one prop one property is already handled. So we have only four properties. So we need to create a dat object of our own where now we actually set the title, set the start time, set, set the day, and set the category. So to do that, you come here and say final new routine is equals to cut routine the collection here. So we'll pass the first thing will be name. And we can use it, we can use the same data in our app structure just to make we don't so that we don't have to think a lot. So we can set set it as send email 6 30 a.m. on Monday. Send emails. Next we have sorry. Next we have a start time. We have a bug here. Let me see. Okay, start time will hold, uh, we'll get the value from the text form field that we disable that holds the start time that uh, the user has picked from the, from the time picker. So this will be the time controller. Then we'll have the next, oh, sorry, dot text, not value. 
then we'll have the next one will be the day, which will be equivalent to the selected day. Uh, we'll get it from the drop down day. And lastly, we'll have the category, which will get it from the drop down, the selected category, which is a drop down value. So category dot value. This is equals to that. I don't know why we have a bug. Title, not name. Wow. Mistake on my part. So now we have a routine that object which we now can now add to our routine collection. So remember our processes have a wait uh, feature. So we're going to set our add routine as a sync. And then we'll come here and say await dot, all right. So we can say, uh, if you recall here, we said await, oh yes, await. Instead of isa, we'll say widget dot isa dot write transaction. Remember that's the function that you use to now push the request that we want to execute on the database. And then we'll say async. Let me close this sync. And then now we can pass the, we can put the new dot pro object into the routine, the new dot object into the routine collection. So we say await uh, routine collection dot put our new routine. And that's that. So we have basically created an object and we have added it to the routine collection. So after that, uh, if we look at our screen, when the moment we add, if you remember in the category, when we add, it clears the text form field. So in our sector, we can make sure we clear the title and the start time. And hopefully we can also, yeah, we clear the title, the start time, and we also set the drop down for the category as null. We just empty the screen just to show that data has been added and we're given room to add a new, add a new, cut, new routine. So for us to do that, just come here below. So we'll start with title. The title has, uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, here we actually, we manually wrote send emails and what we are supposed to do is actually pick from the text form field for title. I don't know how that happened. Um, so if you recall, uh, the, the title is over here. So we're supposed to pick this actually so that whatever the user inserts, uh, that was my mistake. So we say, text title.txt. Yeah, that was a mistake on my part. So now we want the moment the routine has been added, let's clear these guys up, all right? So we'll can, we can, we clear the title controller. And then we clear the time controller. We clear the, we set the drop down day to Monday, the initial one. And then we set the drop down value to null. Yeah, and that should clear, clear this screen uh, after creating a routine. So let's see how that works. Let me refresh our project so that we can actually create our first routine. We have passed our add routine to the add uh, button. So that's good. So let's come to our screen here, add. So we pick. So we have refreshed the app again. Let me create a new category, work, 
add school add home add grades now let's pick one like a uh, walk and then we say send emails then we pick a time picker of uh, 6 30 a.m. And then we pick a day like, let's pick Monday. Let's click, click on add. And it has cleared. So we are hoping that it has gone through the whole process. Let's create another routine. Uh, we see. Um, but I've noticed that it doesn't clear this drop-down value, uh, which is worth checking. Um, so let's select the next. If you look at our app structure, uh, the next uh, data will be submit assignment. We'll set it to school 7.30 p.m. on Tuesday. School, submit assignment 7.30 p.m. on Tuesday, add. And the last one will be clean the bathroom. So home, clean the bathrooms, start time will be 12.30 p.m. on Wednesday, add. So we have added three routines currently, and we haven't experienced any bug yet. So the next lesson will allow us to actually read the routines that we have created and actually display them. So look forward to the checkout of the next lesson and see you then.